Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today is going to be part two of trying to fix up this stubborn Windows 98 PC. So, anyways, in the last video, I tried to install Windows. I swapped out the old motherboard, which should not post. I put in a spare one, and I was unable to install Windows. Could have been the CD-ROM drive or the hard drive, but in this video, I'm gonna try and install Windows XP on it just to see if that'll work. And if that doesn't, I have a spare, say, a SATA hard drive right here. So it's a Hitachi Desk Desk Star, and if the IDE one in here doesn't work, then we'll try a SATA one, but. Anyways, let's try and install Windows, because everything's going to go great. Let's move some of this stuff out of the way. And can we get the camera to focus? There we go. So, what I need is a keyboard. Got this keyboard right here. Then I'm gonna plug in the keyboard. So we're just gonna hook the computer up and try and install Windows XP. And no, I do not have an official copy. This is just that one was just a Dell retail version. Because that's all I have. So gonna have to activate Windows if we can even get it installed. Which I doubt will go okay. I think we're gonna at least I'm gonna at least run into at least that yeah, I think I'm gonna in, run to an at least one problem when when installing. So we'll just we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. So, plug in the computer, and then I need a, I need a PS2 mouse, so got this Dell mouse here, Dell Microsoft mouse, so I'm gonna plug that in. So monitor is on, let's turn the computer on. So I'm going to pop the CD in there. <clears throat> so let's let's just see. Honestly, I don't I think something's going to go wrong. Okay. So looks like I need to change some bio settings so I think it's here no it's down here so disk boot priority first boot device so we need to change that and I forgot how okay so First boot is going to be CD-ROM, next is going to be floppy, then, oh, not USB CD-ROM, I need just CD-ROM. And then, it's going to be hard disk, and there we go, just save to CMOS. And there we go. So now it's booting from the CD-ROM. So it's booting right now.
so setup is starting and we can so can delete this partition and in Windows XP you can actually do a quick format so we can try a quick format just to see if that'll work and hopefully it'll start copying files because is it that's the whole point of this video just copy the Windows files and see if it'll boot up so looks like it's so it's copying the files I'm not sure why the other versions of Windows weren't working but this is Windows XP is working and then can proceed to installing the drivers and maybe some software and games and there's deer outside I don't know why I wanted to point that out I just saw them yeah this is just deer but it's copying files and I'll be back once it's done, we're finished copying files and boot it into Windows. So, it finished copying all the files, we're still not done copying files, it's just copied enough files that it can boot, but it works. I don't know what was up with the other two CDs, I know those CDs work, but here we are, uh, Windows, Windows XP setup, good, very good sign. I was expecting something to go wrong, like, oh, a file can't be copied, but no, it, everything copied perfectly. So, installing Windows, and then we're going to have to go through configure stuff. And then, we'll see what drivers we need to install, and that'll basically be it. But, great, great start to the video. Anyways, I'll, this is going to take a while, so I'll be back once it's finished. So, it has finished copying files and is now booting into OOB. E setup, I think that's what it's called. It's just the setup that you get when you buy the computer. 
brand new, like from Dell, for example. So, change the resolution. This mouse kind of sucks. But it works. So, let's hope we have some... Let's hope we have a minimal amount of drivers to install, because I really do not like to install drivers. Stuff like that. But, we're setting up Windows. We're going to skip that. I would not like to register right now. And, put my name in there. There we go, we're logging into Windows. So this hard drive is working just fine. No defects with it at all. So. Or no defects from I can see. But here it is, so it looks like we only need three drivers to install, so multimedia controller, it's a mouse, uh, communications controller, I'm guessing that's the modem. We have all of our networking drivers installed, so I could install a wireless card in here if I wanted to, so PCI controller is probably just the just the modem, video controller, so not bad, not bad. So, yeah, it's really not that bad. So, maybe I'll, I think I'll search up some drivers for this motherboard and then we'll see how things work out. So I'm going to get a screwdriver and Take a look at what motherboard we have, or what model of motherboard we have. So I'm going to get this screw out here, and pull off the side cover. So in here, P4MBMS. So I'll be right back. Um, I'm just going to shut this down real quick, and I'll be back when I get some drivers. So, I've got my driver downloading machine right here, and I've actually got a DVD right here. So, DVD rewritable, I'm going to put in here, this CD here will eject. But I'm going to search up drivers for P4MB. So I'm going to search up Windows XP drivers. What is it? Why is it spinning? Wait, let me. Okay, now that's working, but we've got a, a DVD rewritable, Jetway, <clears throat> so that's a chipset driver, so drivers collection, this is a good website to find drivers, for me at least. So yeah, this motherboard does support Windows 2000, Windows 98, but for some reason, it's not working. That's a bit strange. Maybe it just maybe it just doesn't like the large hard drive size, I don't know. But here we have audio driver, so I'm going to download that. So in here... Let me just delete some stuff off of this CD, which is just a Dell driver for, of course, a Dell computer, but anyways. 
I'm going to close that window. So download it's a zip file. So now, oh, gotta go back. There we go. So let's just let's search for. I, it's already got the LAN drivers. USB driver. Let's see if we can find the video drivers. So VGA driver right there. And then the other driver is is for the PCI modem, so I'm gonna have to download that later from another website. So download file. And let me just get the modem out real quick. So the modem is on the bottom here. So here is our um, generic looking modem, probably some, it's an e ESS Teledrive, I'm not sure if that's just the chip or the manufacturer who made this, but anyways, let's just uh, extract the files, so that's the audio driver and that's the sound that's the video driver so the graphics driver so right here we're going to, we're going to drag stuff the drivers in onto the DVD So, hopefully things will work out. So I'm going to look for the modem driver, ESS. So ESS Teledrive. I think that's the model name. Hmm. Oh. Okay, so that's not the model name. So there we go driver guide so is the driver I am not a robot I am a human and it should be downloading right now there we go so it's an executable I'm gonna drag that into the DVD as well. My chair's really squeaky. But well, there we go. Now let me put the modem back into the computer. There's also an option to install an AG, AGP graphics card into this computer. But I don't want to install one right now because I have computers that need an AGP, graf AGP graphics card because, well, they don't have integrated graphics. But this computer does have integrated graphics, so it doesn't need an AGP or a graphics card. So we're done with this computer right now. Let me just put it to sleep. And I'll deal with this thing later. So, now it's time to turn the computer on. So, 
We'll also have to activate, I'm gonna also have to activate windows, but I'll do that off camera, because I don't really wanna do it on camera. Anyways, it's so booting into Windows. We'll also have to install Service Pack 3. Well, we don't, I don't, I keep saying we. I don't know why I keep saying that. But, um, I'm gonna uh, install Service Pack 3 and a few games. Also get it connected to the internet via a USB wireless card or USB wireless adapter. I don't know why this fan keeps spinning at full speed. It's connected properly. Don't know why. It's always spinning at full speed, but it's pretty annoying. So there we go. So, my computer right here. I'm actually, so that's, I plugged in the Mac store drive, There's a lot of partitions on here, but we're going to go to the CD drive, oh right, this is a DVD, not a CD, so we're going to get a DVD drive here, so let me just eject this, and shut down the computer. And the hard drive indicator light is not plugged in correctly, so not sure. So let's install it. So here's the com there's the computer. Just move this stuff out of the way. This is the computer. So what I'm going to do first. <clears throat> is connect the hard disk light in. Or, yeah. So I'm gonna have to find that. So that's the hard drive LED. Not sure why that's not working. And my cat wants it to my room. Okay, there we go. If I don't let him in, he'll never come back to my room. So. I don't know what's up with the hard disk LED. I just accidentally... There's my cat. Right there. He always likes to fight with his sister, Lucy. She's also a cat. So. I think he, I think he just wants me to play with him. I, okay, I disconnected the power switch and now I can't get it back in. Okay, there we go. So, if. There we go. I'll just be holding him for the rest of the video, but let's, yeah, okay, I have to put you down, Leo, and, okay, we'll disconnect the cables here, okay, I'll disconnect the floppy drive for now. And we'll plug in the DV I'll plug in the DVD drive. And my cat wants to shake my hand now. It was it was a bad idea training him to do that. Honestly, it's a very bad idea. Um, that up there. So let's plug in the computer. And now let's turn it on. Where did the DVD go? Did I forget to take it no, out? Okay. So, I'm gonna pop the DVD in there. 
F1. <coughs> so, as my cat smells the computer, we can try and install the drivers now. So, let's go here. So there it says there's nothing in the DVD drive. Um there's a DVD in the DVD oh drive wait what I just realized something that there's weird spots all over this DVD. It's like Damage. I'm not sure if you, if you guys can see that. Ignore the scratch, the uh, how scratched the DVD is. I have even more scratched ones, like this Dell one. Pretty scratched. The one that we just used to install Windows. This. Uh, this annoying cat over here keeps wanting to shake my hand. I don't know why. I guess for attention. Okay. Um, it's it's not reading the DVD. I don't know why. I don't think it was okay. Let me. Is it even attempting to read it? Let me put in a CD. Better start reading. No, this drive is completely dead. So, now I'm gonna have to get another one, which I do have, so I'll be right back. So I've got the new DVD drive in, in there, oh, oh, plugged in, installed, and let's try it again. See, I knew we'd, I'd run into at least one problem in this video, and it's reading. It's spinning, the thing, it's still reading from it. Fingers crossed, that'll work. It's taking a long time to read it. Yeah. It's still reading from it. Now it's not reading from it. It there's nothing in here. I okay. What if I write? Yeah, there's it says there's no disk. Let me delete this. So I'm gonna have to copy the files directly to the hard drive. So I need to get my external hard drive adapter thing. So, I have one idea, and before I use the external hard drive thing called the USB to SATA and IDE drive converter. That's just what it's called. If I can find that on Amazon, again, I'll leave a link to that. But, I've got an external DVD drive. I'll try and put the... DVD into it. We'll just put that there. So. Yes, I know about activation. Uh, 
Um, okay. There we go. So, it can't read the DVD for some reason. So, I'm going to have to copy the files directly to the hard disk. <clears throat> Which is very bad because I don't like to do that. So, I'll just... I'll just unscrew the hard drive and unplug it. Oh, there's another screw back here. So, Seagate Barracuda. It's time to plug it into the HP computer thing. So, put the hard drive right here. So there we go, cable, um, the actual adapter, so I've got that right there, and I've got the power supply and the Molex connector. So I'll, do it. I'll just throw it on the ground, I'll, I can unplug the computer, so I don't need that right now. So. Plug it in. Right, I can connect the USB cable, connect the Molex cable. I know you guys can't see this, the power supply cable isn't long enough. So, there we go. I've got the HP computer. Right here, I'll just put that on top. There, I gotta connect it to the computer. Okay, the light here isn't on, I'm gonna have to There we go. So, it's plugged in right now. So, it's installing the driver. <coughs> so, So I'm going to copy that to the desktop, continue, so that's done, and now I'll put this to sleep. Okay, so, sleep, I can put that away. So, let's put the hard disk back into the computer. Let's screw it in. So right there, just Screwing it in to the computer. Let's connect the IDE cable. Let me disconnect this DVD ROM drive. Connect the CD writer back. And power cable. And then the floppy power. So move that DVD drive out of the way. Let's turn the computer on. So 
So now it's booting into Windows. Okay, so here we have the stuff. Actually, let me change the some settings here real quick. There we go. Um, let's, let's change it to this. This mouse. Okay, so let's go for the VGA driver. So, Windows XP driver. <coughs> I think this computer also needs a new clock battery. Uh, cancel. Go finish. So it's changed. No restart required? Interesting. Let me change it. Why? Why is the... That's the max setting, I guess. It's pretty depressing. And also, the colors are bad. Let me change that. It's 32-bit color. Let me try 16-bit. So... No, not like that. So it doesn't look good on here. Let me... That looks better. Still pretty bad, though. Well, let's just change the resolution back. Maybe a restart will work. Or a different monitor. But audio, codec. So... Setup. And this mouse... It's a ball mouse, so I might need to clean out the <coughs> ball. So let's, let's install some drivers. Let me just do this real quick. I want all of that. There we go. So, as you can see, the driver is working. I think it just needs a restart, and then things will work better. Uh, I'll restart it later. So, if I go to Computer Properties, Hardware, and then Device Manager, All the drivers are gone. So Windows 2000. And for some reason, the modem wasn't plugged in correctly. So let's just give that a restart real quick. So we can restart. Now it's booting into Windows XP. So. So, here we go, let's just log in. Let's see if we have uh, any more. Nope, that's that's it. That's the max. So, yep, there we go. The modem is 
has appeared in the device manager. So let's go to the device manager and update the driver from there. So update driver. So there we go. Uh, C drive. Actually, no, let's not go there. Desktop. Never, never mind. I guess I'll have to go look for the file through here. No, I don't think it's even there. I think it's, nope, never mind, it's not there. It's not even there. That's great. Where's ESS? Um. Ah, oh, there we go. One two thousand. Hopefully, it's the correct driver. Ah, continue. I don't care. But it's copying the files. There we go. So, um, there we go. We've installed stuff. Of course, we can't hear uh, the audio because why is it at max? Because there's no speakers connected, but I think that's we should install some software now. So, I'll be right back with some software to install on this computer. I've got the box. And, okay, I probably shouldn't have done that. I turned off the monitor. There we go. So, I've got a bunch of software. I've got a whole box. And we'll just sort through it. But first, I'm going to back up the drivers onto a floppy disk. Okay, never mind, it's not working. Yeah, um, this floppy drive is broken. So, let's install a browser. So, actually, you know, I'm going to update it to Service Pack 3 first. So, if, if I could find that disk, Service Pack 3 disk, then I can up, upgrade it so it's not there. Aha! Windows XP Service Pack 3. So, let's insert it into our CD ROM drive right here. A sealed copy of Windows XP, Chinese language. My mom actually bought that, and she never used it. So, let's install that. And I've also got Microsoft Word 2000 here. I have a Roxio, no, I have a backpack driver. This has Roxio CD Creator on it, which will be perfect for the CD writer. So it would be nice to get some CD writing software. And I will fix the original motherboard that came in this computer at some point. I That's a really neat looking motherboard and I want to fix that. So. Oh, now I just saw Windows XP Media Center CDs and all of these CDs are burned. So they're not any official, they're not official discs. Except this one, it's Logitech webcam driver, which I will install at some point and maybe I'll install it today. Let's install 
Now yeah, let's install Microsoft Word. I'm going to insert it into my second DVD drive here. Into my DVD drive because built-in drive is a CD writer from HP Hewlett Packard. So, there we go. Let's just minimize all of this. And then, I will enter in the product key. So there we go, let's install it. No, why did I even hide the product here? I think I accidentally showed it earlier. I actually have some more software upstairs that I forgot about. Oh, we can install some Visual Basic stuff if I wanted to. Yeah, all of uh, some of these CDs came from my parents from when they lived in Germany. They were computer programming. I think they were majoring in that, so they have a lot of stuff like this. Except this. This one I got from my local dump. I can find a lot of stuff there. Cool stuff there. Uh, why did I put that CD with me? Like, I once got a copy of Windows NT 4.0 from there. Oh my god. Things are falling out of this bag right here. Give me a second. So, let me know, guys, if you uh, want me to install this brand new copy of Windows XP. A professional, a Chinese, like, Chinese version. So, if you guys, if you want me to install this, let me know in the, know in the comments. I probably won't install it. I just want to see if you guys want me to. So, here, I think we'll install this webcam driver as today, I don't know, just depends. But, yeah, I have lots of CDs with cool stuff on it, so I will be right back with a CD. Sorry about the weight, but here, I, I got it. It's just this Medion CD. There's a cool wallpaper on there that I like. And ah, let's see if this works, this damaged CD. It's not really that damaged though. Actually it is. We'll see if that works. It's just Microsoft Office 2004 in German. We'll see if that works. Yeah, that's basically out of this box. I'll just put that aside. So, Service Pack 3. I agree. Yeah, I didn't read that. And that's installing Microsoft Word. <coughs> so, yeah, I don't have any more CD drives to put my CDs into. 
This is my favorite part about fixing up computers, installing the software. I don't have that many games around, laying around. I have this, burned onto, onto a CD. It's in Chinese though, and the format isn't correct. Uh, so, yeah. Fujitsu Seaman CD Reportable. It sounds so wrong, but whatever. Oh, I also have Microsoft Office in here. Chinese version as well, Chinese edition. And these discs come in this little wrapper. And look at these. Kind of cool. Office 2000. These are also not in the correct format. Maybe it's just language barriers and stuff. But I might... If you want me to install this, leave it in the comment below. But you know, this is an official Microsoft thing. That's hollow. Oh, I just pushed a bunch of my CDs. So. Ah. Here's a driver. So we're going to get this connected to the internet with this Linksys wireless USB right here. And it's currently plugged into my HP heavy on down here. So, this thing, well, I cannot copy file, retry. So we're gonna get this computer connected to the internet with that. And we're also gonna install another driver for something because why not? I have this Dell Pocket PC, Dell Axim X50. So, got all of this documentation here. We have a Pocket PC driver here with Outlook. We have the device itself. This could be a whole different video and retry. Not sure what's up with it. Um, Microsoft Word is done. Let me just... So, yeah, this could be a whole separate video. Just installing it. You know, I'll save it for another video. My dad got this from my aunt, and as soon as he turned it on and saw the UI, he just did not want to use it anymore, which... I don't know. He is him. So. Uh, cancel. Yes. I'll just... Let's just see what happens. So let, let me see if I have any more... Any more junk put in here. Oh. I have Microsoft Windows for Pocket PC Professional Edition 2000. See Windows Help Tours, cancel. Why is it not reading? I think it's just a CD-ROM drive, honestly. That's going bad. So, here, this here, it's just a piece of paper with a product sticker on it. So, since Microsoft Word is done installing, you just put an icon onto the desktop. So, abort, let's just cancel, let's install Service Pack 3 from the DVD drive. And let's see what other software I can install. So, um, oh yeah, let's just 
install those wallpapers. Nope, that's a DVD. Those are DVDs. There we go. Let's install it from this DVD drive. No, let's let's go ahead and install Heroes 3 because that's just what I have. All the formatting and it's going to be drawing and crazy and stuff like that. <coughs> So there's the splash green. As you can see, it's a Chinese version, and this is what I was talking about. Everything is just distorted for some reason. I think it's just language barrier. So memory and direct X. Let's just continue. Yeah, I don't know how to play this game. My mom played it. But she's probably forgotten how to play it too. So I've installed that. It's installing with Service Pack 3. Things are going great. You know, let's, let's just plug in this wireless thing here. So I'm going to plug that in. Oh, so many things are happening at once. I should install Doom on this computer. <clears throat> but I don't know how to play Doom, so I'm gonna have to learn. So, we can install Heroes 3, then we can install this driver. So, document. I'm, go I'm just going crazy right now with this software, all of this software on the ground, and low battery. something wrong okay so I can't install that let's just install the wireless adapter driver so it should be able to work with a CD-ROM drive just get the game out there So, should be extracting right now. Oh, we'll just put that back in there. So. can load fast enough then we can continue uh, install shield something something so something is wrong when it's okay um that is not good at all let's check out CD here. So, oh, there's it's just dirty. I'll just clean that off. Not a big deal. So, uh, <sighs> looks clean enough to me. Start setup.
So if I can. Oh, yeah, right. You need service pack two or later. Ah, I'm an idiot. So I will install that later. Yeah, Surface Pack 1 is really outdated. Let's try again here. So, what else can I install? These here, I think, are DVDs. No, it's these are CD ones. I'm an idiot. Why would there be two DVDs for one program? So, okay, here I have another driver. Ah, okay. Oh, okay. Things are going okay, so the cover of this just fell off. That's fine. The CD is okay, though. And the CD is also dirty. Directory is corrupt and unreadable. So, looks like I can't install Service Pack 3 today. What if I just copy it? So, set up. Yeah, I, I definitely need to plug it into my parallel port. I do not need to do that right now. So, install Easy CD Creator. So, English. I have so many programs open. This is this is great. So I'm gonna minimize that. I'm gonna close that. Uh, yes, I accept. There we go. Is it done? It's corruptor unreadable. Okay. That's great. Um I, yeah, I really don't know why. So it should be only... It's not reading anything from the CD, so... I, I don't know. It, I've used this CD before to install Service Pack 3. I don't know what's up with this. But we're installing the Adaptech thing. So it's extracting these files right now. Um, yeah, it's, it's just stuff. Yeah, so it can't extract anything. I don't know why. Maybe if I can get this hooked up to the internet, then I can install it. <coughs> and download it and install it from there. But, yeah, that's bad. That's very bad. So, I want my CD back. So. Hi, I'm your guide. Just follow the C... I'm not sure what that guy's supposed to be. A symbol? Like a symbol you know, you, that you have in... Those drum kits, things. Let's try and install Office. Microsoft Word Suite. So, just includes Microsoft Office. So...
It's 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 loading something. Cancel. We'll just minimize that. X. That that's nice. So it's currently reading from the supposedly unreadable CD. I'm a DVD. It wouldn't read on any of my com other computers. It just would try to read it and it it, it just stopped. Jewel case creator. K is not a. I'll restart it later. Yeah, so I think the create CD thing also failed. Because I think there, yeah, there'd be more options down here, but no. Ah. Things are not working out great software-wise. So here... So, it, it's reading. Reading. So this here I think is a CD. Application support disk. Yeah, it this is a CD ROM. Let's just try I think this CD writer here is broken, honestly. Explorer here is broken. It's just Microsoft Word. It's taking a ridiculous amount of time to read from this. So I think I'm gonna end it off here because things are just freezing up and stuff so I hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, and please like and subscribe I'll see you guys in the next video bye